Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know that you're there. Welcome to our conversation as we talk about the gifts of the Akashic Records to, to you and your clients. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers and leaders and coaches have income breakthroughs, lifting the, the lids on your life and business. And I also teach you how to access the Akashic Records for yourself and for others. So as you're jumping on, let me know that you're there. Say hello. And of course, if you're catching the replay, please do hashtag replay. And then I can come back and say hello uh, to you. Hi, Eva. Welcome, lovely. So glad that you're here. Hi, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Are you, are you in the UK? Are you in Canada, America, Australia, Norway? Where in the world are you watching from today? Now, there's often a lot of mystery around the Akashic Records, people thinking, what are they? I've never heard of them. So let me know, have you heard of the Akashic Records before? I know Eva have. Eva is an amazing Akashic Record consultant and teacher. So, so excited that you're here. Have you ever had a consultation or reading? Let me know. Hi, Maria. Welcome. Eva's in cloudy Canada. Oh, Eva, I was in sunny UK. I'm now in cloudy, rainy UK. <laughs> it's suddenly taken a taken a bit of a turn. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Hi, Julia. Lisa's saying yes, you've worked with them before. Fantastic. OK, so well, what are the Akashic Records? So they are a soul level of dimension of consciousness. So all of us has a soul, a soul blueprint. Um, a soul blueprint. We have an energetic an energetic roadmap or a book of information for our existence on on this planet and it tells us things like well you know what we're here to do what we're here to learn what we're here to master who we're here to meet and when i'm working in the akashic records i'm accessing that information for other people so that they can be plugged into that information if they're not able to to tap into it themselves hi amanda and the key thing to bear in mind with the akashic records is is the future is still unwritten. So this isn't a psychic reading or mediumship. This is a spiritual reading. This isn't, this is going to set, this is set in stone and this is going to happen because you have free will and choice. So there's energies that can indicate what the future can likely look like. But at any time we have decision, we have choice and those decisions and choices and actions change what happens ahead of us so this is about possibilities and probabilities and the energetic records are the the akashic records are the energetic records of your soul that hold all the information about the the truth of who you really are so it records every word thought action event emotion and your belief systems from a soul level and so by accessing your akashic records you'll receive information to understand your blocks and limitations in life the insights and then possible choices in co-creating a better income. Hi, Sunita, welcome. So I wanted to share with you the, the gift for you and your clients when you're working with the Inkashit Records. And then I'll talk a little bit about how you can go deeper um, as, we, as we wrap up. And there's three secrets to unlocking, unlocking this gift. The first secret is with the Akashic Records, you have direct access to a dimension of consciousness that contains the vibration and record of every soul in its journey. So think of this as a dynamic flow of energy and it is best understood from an energetic point of view. So when we open the Akashic Records, we transition from a normal consciousness to a state of divine universal consciousness. And it's in this state that allows us to perceive the impressions and the vibrations of the record. So it's like, like changing your channel on your TV. You, I know you've, if you're here, you'll have heard me talk about the human Wi-Fi. So your human Wi-Fi is tuning in to a different frequency and vibration. And here is the gift. Every time we access the records, our awareness is affected by, by this quality of life and we become enlightened by it. This frequency affects our sense of peace, well-being. The frequency itself is healing and it heals 
so fast at the speed of light and at the rate of which, of course, you are ready to allow in and are ready to be healed. My manifesting has gone through the roof since I started working in the records. And I just, that's why I love uh, sharing this with everybody and working in the Akashic Records. And it is just such a joy and honor to share this with you. And I know I've had so many messages this morning from some of my uh, students who have been taking through the Akashic Records level saying, I've been doing these case studies. It's amazing. I'm getting so many testimonials, wonderful testimonials. So celebrating you all who have been uh, doing level one, level two, level three with me. Uh, it's such an honor to share that with you. Hi, Tina. And the energy of the records moves on the spoken word, which facilitates the movement of energy. So as Kashik or record consultants, we channel by allowing the energy of the records to move through our bodies, channeling energy and information directly from the Akasha. So not from entities or personalities from other dimensions. So whilst it's often referred to as the, the book of life, this term is actually, think of it, it's created as a concept so that we can actually get our heads around it get our our lovely human brains around it and books of course and libraries are easy to understand concepts so it gives us a visual image to go to so the book of life is a metaphor to explain what is essentially unexplainable does that make sense so use the concept of the library to help your conscious mind and allow yourself to understand the akashic records as an energetic flow a consciousness a dynamic energy so that's the first secret, that the Akashic records are a, a dimension of consciousness that contains a vibrational record of every soul and its journey. And being able to tap into this is such a sacred gift. The second secret is when you're working in the, the Akashic records, you're tuning into the highest light frequency. So one of the most common questions that I get asked around working with light beings and guides as well and in, in the Akashic records of all this how do I find out their names who are who are these beings so you have different frequency of light beings and when we're working in the records we're working with the the purest highest light frequencies so the lord of the records are a group of light beings who work at a universal level rather than individual souls light beings are non-physical beings that are involved at every level of awareness. So they generate a higher quality of light that offers potential for understanding the higher truths about yourself. So the Lords of the Records are responsible for maintaining the integrity of the Akashic Records and they decide what information is revealed during a particular reading. And they give that information to the masters, teachers and loved ones of the soul who are seeking, seeking guidance. And sometimes they withhold information, which is why we might not get an answer to a question when we ask it. We might need to rephrase it. Um, it may not be the divine timing for that to, to in your highest interest to have that information revealed. And the, so they always have your highest interest in mind. So the masters are like beings, like lords of the records. They've never been in physical bodies and they work with your individual soul. And your masters have been with you since your soul's inception and responsible for your soul's ongoing growth and development. So they'll work with your teachers and loved ones to support you in your, in your mastery. And the teachers may or may not have been in physical bodies. So they, are, they aren't, aren't with you throughout your soul existence. They're lesson specific. So they'll stay with you for as long as it takes to learn a lesson and to integrate the consciousness of that teacher. So once you have, the teacher leaves to work with other souls. And these teachers can be ordinary folks or they can be bigger consciousnesses like Jesus, Buddha, Mother Teresa and so on. And your Akashic record teachers prefer to remain unidentified so we don't foster a dependence on them or their earthy identities because it's our ego that really wants to know the name. So we, we want to develop a a reliance on the divine essence and the energy of the records rather than on a particular identity. So when you're working on in the records, you'll channel information directly or differently depending on who you're working with and who their guides and their masters, teachers and loved ones are. And then we, the loved ones are people that you've known in this life and they've passed over. So they may not have known you well in this life. Sometimes people are really surprised who will be coming through 
um, uh, if they are identified, but they do prefer not to be identified. So, but they will reveal themselves if it helps you. So whilst we have angels and saints that we know by names and are associated with a particular thing, the Akashic Masters do not have individual identities. So that's the second secret is that we're working with all these light beings, these energies who are working with the Akashic Records and the record keepers prefer to remain anonymous. So as we're working in the records, it's the power and the energy of the records moving through us. And we won't necessarily know them by identity. So you need to say, absolutely, it's a very uplifting privilege. It really is, isn't it? And it's just so powerful, the transformations that people can, people can have. So this leads me on to secret three. Anyone can read the Akashic Records. Yay! So many people will say, I don't think I can do it because of X, Y, and Z. So who here has ever thought I'm not going to be able to read the Akashic Records and then, <laughs> surprise, I can do it. <laughs> and historically, we've all got a whole load of societal and religious programming going on around being what it means to be spiritual, about being a male. If you think about historically, um, spiritual and males were able to access the records, and but not women. Um, there's so much that's been going on in our programming and transgenerationally as well. So not just what we've been exposed to, but our families and our ancestors have been exposed to as well. And here's the truth. Anyone can access them. The only barrier between where you are now and reading them is trusting yourself and allowing yourself to, to develop the skill and the relationship of working in the records. And accessing the Akashic Records requires integrity, intention, flexibility, staying in the present moment. Your spiritual connection requires clarity of thought and openness beyond, beyond your personal expectations and of course, limiting beliefs. And those limiting beliefs get kicked up <laughs> big time when you start learning to read in the records. And that's part of the gift as a consultant and reader is being able to, not only when you're doing the readings for yourself, but also when you are, you have that next layer of healing and learning as you start to read for other people. Um, when you, I often talk about mirrors and magnets, um, but where you start to see reflections of other people's limiting beliefs being kicked up um, and where it may be relevant for yourself as well. The key is being in the energy of curiosity and openness to learning. So this is going to open up your connection as well. It's a journey around building that your relationship with trusting yourself and your willingness and self-management of le leaving your ego at the door. This is soul to soul work and it is the highest honor and the shifts and transformations that people have is absolutely incredible. So I'd love to know what's your, been your greatest gift working in the records? Pop in the comments below. So this may be when you've been working for yourself, if you've opened your own Akashic records or when you've been working um, with a client, this is here in the chats. Amanda's saying yes. Me. never thought I could do this work I love 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 this now yay let's see if there's any other questions or reflections from insights downloads ahas from working in the Akashic records just take a little sip whilst give you some space to type your reflections in yeah Tina's saying the quickness of healing and shifting energy yeah it's amazing. And I find a lot of uh, people who come from other modalities who already have been seeing massive shifts and um, things working really, really fast <laughs> are blown away about how it amps up another gear and things move even more quickly. Yeah. It is just so powerful. And my background is I started my uh, well, my background's in psychology like, years and years ago. Uh, a degree in psychology, a postgraduate a diploma in counselling, so I thought I was going to go off and be a counsellor. Um, and then uh, being trained in a number of um, 
business management type things along the way and then opening up into pranic healing trained as an advanced pranic healer crystal pranic healer uh, psychotherapy pranic healer and then energy alignment method mentor and then the Kashic records consultant and for me this has just been the it's a beautiful um addition to bring into your business because of course everything that you learn across your journey you bring in with you with every client that you're you're working with so that's what I absolutely love about the Akashic Records is that it offers something additional for your clients who may be at different phases of their journey and so the some of the other modalities like EFT EAM emotion co can be the the pranic healing like the gateway for people opening up uh, to energy work and beginning to understand that there's a little bit more going on than perhaps they thought um, and then as they develop and grow they open up to the Akashic records so Lisa saying I I do get a lot of downloads yes so I need to love the feeling of being enveloped in love from the inside out oh yes so so powerful Eva reflection the amazing empowering questions to ask clients so much aha moments yeah Absolutely. Marie's saying, Amanda, you're amazing. Yes, Amanda's amazing. Fantastic. So the Akashic Records can help you start a spiritual business. If you haven't started a business yet, you might want to, to start an Akashic Record consultation practice. Or of course, if you're you know working in any of the other modalities, like, like I mentioned, like EFT, Reiki, Pranic Healing, EAM, emotion code, site K, RTT, then I invite you to consider adding Akashic Record consultations to your business because it it really is, it's our birthright to have access to the divine wisdom and healing energy of our souls and the beings of light that are here to support you. And you can do this by learning to access the records for other people and becoming a certified Akashic Record consultant. So how I do it, I, I train you, when you're working with me, I train you on the Soul Journeys method, which is a system downloaded from the records by my coach, Jennifer Longmore. So this is the methodology that I use in my consultations with clients and, and in my coaching programs. So I just want to take a couple of seconds, if that's okay, with everyone to let you know what options are available to you. Now, during our deeply powerful immersions, when you're learning to access the Akashic Records, what you'll be getting is gaining the ability to access your own records. So the unique blueprint of your soul across dimensions, planes, spaces, times, levels of consciousness and beyond. Using the records to stay embodied in your highest level frequency so you can stay, stay focused on your mission instead of being pulled around in all directions by fear and self-doubt. There's so much gaslighting going on on a macro level that was being reflected in people's bodies in terms of how they're gaslighting themselves more and more at the moment. I'm seeing us talking about this uh, within my mastermind that I'm I'm a member of uh, and other leaders and, and coaches all saying that they were all seeing this with more and more people reflecting what's going on on the macro level, of course, for this collective consciousness where we're not sure about the truths that are being told who is ever in the media and all the subliminal programming that goes on. But then, of course, it starts to be reflected within ourselves where we may gaslight ourselves by saying we want to do one thing and we set an intention and then we completely take ourselves out of the game by not taking action on the thing we know to do, getting caught, caught up in our head or doubting ourselves and not tuning in to what we know to be true and letting go of all the chaos and noise. So this is where you're able to use the records so you can stay embodied in your highest level frequency and let go of all the gaslighting and chaos that's going on around you energetically. So receiving and interpreting guidance and healing around topics like your soul purpose, accelerating your soul's journey, turning yourself into attraction magnets so you can just let go of scarcity for good and live in the truth that your supply is unlimited. It truly is. I just invite you to breathe that in. Your supply is unlimited. There is always more coming. So letting go of limiting patterns and blockages just in an instant, instead of spending hours and hours of time doing inner work, just set the intention and let them go. 
as Tina talked about the quickness of healing and shifting energy. So accessing your highest truth and wisdom at any time on demand. So you never have to second guess yourself or start dragging your heels. So what you do is you dramatically cut down time on that you spend on channeling and downloading because you're able to access your records and and being able to read them effectively it's like a muscle of course you're developing and growing and expanding your skills and and the quickness of the downloads and then learning how to do this for your clients as well is just such a gift and you channel information well beyond your own intuitive abilities so how we do this you can choose to join us for the level one immersion where you're accessing your own records or if you wish to read the records for others and you can join us for all three levels so if you'd like some more information think and thinking oh this sounds really interesting i'd love to find out more then just drop me a message um, below here um, saying information please or just pop me over a direct message saying that you'd like the information around the akashic records training so some dates to have in mind so we have level one immersion on the 12th and 13th of june and of course, if you're unable to join us live, you can access the same energies via the recording. So we're starting at 11 a.m. UK time. Uh, that's so our friends in America and Canada, Canada can join us at 6 a.m. Eastern. So some people are getting up early. Some people are staying, staying late to join us. So if this resonates in your heart, then I hope that you'll be able to join us and just drop me a message below and I'll get the details to you so you can check it out. Julia's saying info, please. Awesome, lovely. I'd love to send you the info. I shall make a little note. Julia. That would be such an honor to have you join us, lovely. So, so exciting. Wiki dokie. And for those of you wanting to weave offering Akashic Record readings as a service in your business, then you will want to go on to do level two and three, which I'm hosting later in the year. So you'll need to do all three levels. So one, one to three. So this is where you learn how to open your records for others and then some serious, serious, cool, advanced techniques. Uh, oh, Jackie's saying yes, please, as well. Jackie, I have got you. That'd be awesome. OK, I'd love to invite you to that. I will send that info over to you. So exciting. So exciting. And there is plenty of support with how I facilitate these. You're partnered up with colleagues to practice in between our immersions. Um, and so I've got all the information in a document that I can share with you. Oh, awesome, Lisa. Would love to have you. So exciting. So exciting. I'll send over the info as well. So we've got Julia, Jackie and Lisa. Absolutely would love to, to have you join us. So I'll send over the info so you can um, check it out and uh, we can go from there. So... The other thing I wanted to share with you is that I've opened up a couple of one to one spots for private coaching in the Akashic Records. Um, so I've got a new coaching program where it's just flexible with some flexible timescales around when we meet. So let me know um, if you pop Akashic Records private down, then I can send over that info as well. Someone did try and book yesterday. She met, sent me a message going, you are stacked out. <laughs> um, and then I had a look, I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> so I have a wait list for working with me pri privately with some availability coming up in later on in June. So um, if you want to get onto the wait list for that, then let me know. The gift of the Akashic Records to you and your client is that every time we access the records, our, our awareness of this is, is affected by this quality of, of life. And we become enlightened by, by this. This frequency affects our sense of peace, our well-being. The frequency is healing. It heals at the speed of light. And of course, at the rate that you allow in and are ready to heal. So every time you're going into the Akashic Records, it's like an energetic tune-up. So expect miracles, expect deep healing and transformational results, both for yourself and for your clients. So any questions from what I've shared today, do pop them in the um, chat. If you're catching the replay, I'd love to hear and to see your reflections in relation to working with the Akashic Records, if you've worked with the Akashic Records. Um, and sending you all lots and lots of love. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. And for those of you that are joining me for the Akashic Record Weekends Intensive, I am so honoured and excited to share this sacred week weekend with you. Sending you all lots and lots of love.
Namaste. Take care. Bye-bye.